us trans women experience a very particular form of sexist marginalization and oppression. This is because of our intersectional identities of being both trans and a woman. And this is amplified even further if we are people of color, especially Black trans women. Transmisogyny is the intersectional experience of both transphobia and sexism at the same time. The term was coined by Julia Serrano in 2007 in her book, Whipping Girl. Transmisogyny depends on two concepts. The first being that maleness and masculinity is superior to females and femininity, as well as the false idea that male and female are two rigid, separate, mutually exclusive categories. It is no coincidence that legislation is currently being proposed attacking both women's rights and queer and trans people's rights. Because anti-abortion and anti-trans and anti-queer legislation both have the same goal, to police and control our bodies, especially those of women, more specifically, especially trans women of color. This is a direct attack on Americans' right to privacy, bodily autonomy, and our rights listed in the Declaration of Independence, such as our rights to equality, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Examples of this include the fact that trans women experience much higher rates of discrimination than the rest of the population. While cis women in America only earn 82 cents per dollar that a man earns, according to the HRC, us trans women only earn a proportional 60 cents. Additionally, according to the National Center for Transgender Equality, one in five, nearly 21% of transgender women have been incarcerated, mostly due to profiling and transphobia. The rate of incarceration of the general population is only 3%. And of course, this is exponentially higher for Black trans people who are incarcerated at a rate of 47%. Another important example is that 63% of all transgender people have experienced a serious form of discrimination due to bias. This includes, but is not limited to, being fired due to being trans, losing their housing because of being trans, losing their access to their family connections because they're trans, being physically harassed or assaulted or sexually assaulted because they're trans, denial of medical services due to being trans or being incarcerated due to being trans. The list goes on and on. The fight for gender equality and women's rights is the same fight that trans people are fighting. We are actively working hard against patriarchy, against misogyny, and against sexism. If your feminism is not intersectional, it's not feminism. It's just trans misogyny. Thank you for watching Trans 101 with Rose Montoya.